Hi, my name is Noah Felvey. I'm a first year PhD student here at the University of California, Davis. Uh, I'm a chemical engineering PhD student. I did my undergrad and master's degree at uh, Washington University in St. Louis. Missouri? In, in Missouri, yes. Came yes. So all the way you out. enrolled here in 2016 and you expect to graduate in 2020? Yes, that's right. Okay. So, um, what did you do after your master's? Were you working? Uh, no, I came directly actually from a master's to do the PhD. So, uh, before that, uh, you did bachelor's and master's both at uh, St. Louis? Yeah, that's right. So, did you have any industry experience at all? I did. I, I did two internships uh, between my junior and senior year and between my senior and master's. I see. So, uh, what kind of research are you planning to do here at... Uh... Uh, well, that's still up in the air, uh, which is part of why I like Davis so much. I came in knowing that I like um, catalysis and would like to do something related to alternative or renewable energy. Um, but one of the big appeals of UC Davis was that they uh, help their students fully figure out uh, where their research interests are and then uh, to actually doing the research. So did you not have to like pick an advisor before you come here? Uh, no. Um, the first quarter, uh, they do a lot to help us to figure out who, who we mesh with and work well with and, and where our interests are. I so, see. Yeah. So um, um, uh, what kind of um, career do you want to pursue after this? So, like academics or industry? Haven't you thought about it? Uh, yeah, ideally, I mean at the moment, I am definitely interested in going into industry. Uh, but in five years, who knows? <laughs> I'm open to whatever possibilities lie ahead. So, um, which all universities have you applied to? Um, I applied to a, a couple of Big Ten schools. Um, Davis, uh, Santa Barbara, and, and Northwestern, which is in my hometown of Evanston. I see. So, why did you pick uh, UC Davis? Where did you have offers of admission from? Just UC Davis. Oh, so you didn't really have much of a chance. So the decision wasn't very hard. <laughs> okay. So uh, what is like the funding situation in the chemical department? It's chemical um, engineering. Do they fund all the PhD students completely? Absolutely. Uh, all the students have a stipend and have their fees and tuition paid. Uh, I see. For four or five years as long as you're uh, working towards your degree. I see. So um, how many students do they typically take for a PhD like every year? Uh, it's around 30 for the, for the chemical engineering material science department. Oh, 30 students every year? 30 students every That is year. quite a lot. It is, yeah. They're actually splitting uh, the departments into a I chemical see. engineering and a material science. I see. So UC Davis seems to be highly, highly research oriented. Absolutely, and growing. Yeah. So, you know, not every university is research oriented. So, do you have any particular advice for like people applying here for a master's program? Um, it's like, uh, you know, do they have to be highly research oriented? Absolutely not. Uh, I haven't done a ton of research. Um, but I don't feel that I'm behind or have a lack of experience at all. Okay, do, what do you think made your application stand out among all the others? Um, hmm, Just your question. GPA or GRE score? Or? Uh, GPA was fine, G GRE score was fine. Um, I think just a genuine interest. Uh, interest Did your interests align well with those of the faculty members? Yeah, I think so. I see. Yeah. So, um, uh, wish you best of luck and thank you very much for your video. Thank you.